it's actually very much like the, uh, the uh, icons in Orthodox Christianity. You know, the, 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 the holy images that are flat and they're in the churches. If you go into the Balkans, into many churches, you will find the eyes gone, scraped out. And Robert Kaplan, the, the famous writer, you may have read some of his books, he wrote a book about the Balkans where he says, and he passes it on as if it were fact, that the, uh, the little Greek Orthodox ladies would scratch the eyes out of the icons to make potions for their superstitious practices. Now, <laughs> there just ain't no way that any pious Greek Orthodox is gonna deface an icon. That's just, you don't have to have a deep understanding of, of Orthodox Christianity to know. That just is inconceivable. And what happened was, Muslims took the eyes out of the icons because that, once again, destroys it as a human image. And you can see that, I saw that uh, in, a, uh, in an exhibit once in a museum of all this ancient Egyptian art, as a matter of fact. And again and again, these, these, there would be these uh, bas reliefs and things, and the heads were scratched off, the body's right there, but the head's gone, or the eyes, and I thought, Islam has been through here, you know? Of course, the museum didn't say anything like that. They don't know why the heads are gone, or they don't want to admit it. 